This video that you're about to watch is from my Omni model course. You can get access to it for free. Yes, for free by going to the link in the description below. Now let's get into the video. So we are moving on. We just went over price swings. I taught you how I view the market, the thing that unlocked everything for me. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back, make sure you're watching this entire course in order. But without any further ado, let's move on to the next topic. So now we are going to talk about market structure shifts. Now this video is gonna be one of the quicker ones. It's pretty straightforward. There's only two different types of market structure shifts. So let's go over it. So what is a market structure shift? It's when price takes out an intermediate high or low indicating a possible change in direction. Now I want to emphasize that it's a possible change. This isn't the end all be all. If you see a market structure shift doesn't 100% mean that the market is going to go in the other way. Just how when we were talking about correlated markets, if you saw some type of divergence at liquidity, that does not mean that there's going to be a change in direction. You have to marry several things together. And this is one of the things that you have to marry together, market structure shifts. So like I was saying before, there's two different types of intermediate highs and lows. So the first one is going to be a swing high or low within a fair value gap that reaches at least consequent encroachment. And I'm sorry about the typo, but ignore that focus on the content itself. So it is a swing high or low within a fair value gap that reaches at least consequent encroachment. Now it must not close outside the fair value gap. So if the bodies go outside the fair value gap, then this does not classify as an intermediate high or low. And now the second one is a swing high that has a lower high to the left and a lower high to the right. So a lower swing high to the left and a lower swing high to the right or vice versa, versa a swing low with a lower swing low to the left and a lower swing low to the right. That king swing high or that king swing low is going to be your intermediate high or low. So here is an example of the first type. If you look to the left, we have a swing low that is within a fair value gap and it comes to at least halfway, also known as a consequent encroachment of that fair value gap. So that low is an intermediate swing low. So now if we look to the right, later on in price action, price goes below it. And for it to be a market structure shift, the bodies don't have to go below it. It's a bonus if it does, but for the market structure shift, it only needs to be the wick. So we take out that low, having your market structure shift. So there could be a possible change in direction. We were bullish before going higher. Now we might be going lower. You can see price takes that out, goes higher. It ac actually goes into a fair value gap and a order block also accompanied with a wick. So three different types of key levels right there. We also got an inversion fair value gap. The more I look at the chart, the more key levels pop out to me, but we go up into a key level and then we start to trade lower. So that is how a market structure shift can indicate that price may be going in the other direction. So now let's look at an example of the second type. So you can see we have a swing high. If we look to the left of that swing high, we have a lower swing high to the left. And we look to the right, we have a lower swing high to the right. And so if we look at this swing high right here, this king swing high, so the lower swing high to the left, lower swing high to the right, we take that out right there. That is a shift in market structure. We trade lower into this fair value gap right here, and then we go higher. That's how you use a market structure shift to indicate that there could be a possible change in direction. And like I said, this video was gonna be pretty short. It's pretty straightforward. There are only two types of market structure shifts. And now we're gonna move on to the last video of this section where we talk about change in delivery. So I will see you guys in the next one.